Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and let's get started with today's video. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to show you guys that I did get my room renovated. I have my own little corner with only my makeup stuff. I have shelves, which I am so excited for because I've been wanting them for a long time. Everything is organized based on how often I need it or how often like I use it. So obviously things all the way on the top are things I don't really use very often. And the things all the way in the bottom are my almost daily things. So now you guys have seen my new setup. I, as I've mentioned already, I am totally in love with it. I just love how easy everything is now. I just sit here, turn my camera on, and I'm ready to go. It did take a little bit longer today because I had to figure out exactly how I wanted to position everything, whether I wanted to be facing this way or I wanted to be facing the other way, but I figured this was <clears throat> the best way. I felt more comfortable in doing it. I'm sure you guys have seen by now in the title that it says giveaway and that's because I'm finally ready to do my first official giveaway here on my YouTube and on my Instagram. So stay tuned until the end of the video so I can discuss the rules and then the, obviously the items that will be given in this giveaway. Another quick little note before we get started on today's look is this new lip gloss that I'm wearing which comes from Easy Eyelashes which is obviously where I have a promo code which would be linked right here so you guys can go ahead and use that for 10% off on your purchase. The one I'm using today is called Pretty in Pink and it comes in this little tube and it's so 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 soothing on my lips and I completely enjoy it. I have the other one it's kind of more like in a browner tint um it's all the way in the top though but for today I am using this one so obviously don't forget to use my code and definitely check them out. All right, so for today's video, I decided I'll be going, I'll be doing something more Frankenstein looking. So obviously this is part two of my spooky series. Wow, look at me being consistent. Looking for my concealer. Oh my God. So last night when I was practicing this look, it did take me like two hours to figure out exactly what I was doing, but I finally got it and for when I was practicing, I wanted to use the eye primer that I discussed in my last video, but it wasn't working. So I figured I would go with a different concealer and it wasn't working either. So I guess like what you use on your eye really just depends on the colors that you're going for and like how, like how much you want of it to show. So then for today, in order to prime my eyelids, I'm going to go ahead and use my HD Photogenic Concealer. It's from NYX Cosmetics, but this is in shade CW01. And... I typically don't use this one. It's actually a new one that I brought. This one is in shade Porcelain. And I'm just going to use it on my eyelids to set that. So we can start. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have like a little thing. It looks like a little pimple, but it's not. And it's been there for a week now? No, like two weeks now. And it's annoying because I've tried to pop it. Because I'm over here thinking it's like a pimple or something. But it's not. So that's annoying. I'm so happy with the way my room turned out. There's still things I want to do to it. Like I want to get a better chair because the one that I have is kind of like one of those $10 chairs you can just buy at any store. But I don't really, I don't think I really want to spend like 80 bucks on the other pretty chairs that I've seen. But they're so comfortable so I think I just might go ahead and do it anyways. I don't know. I'm at that, I'm at that stage where I have everything I need. Now I'm just bored, so I feel like I need to get more things. But one thing I do know that I still need is a better mirror. Because every time I record, I just use my small mirror. And I mean, it's pretty handy because it's like I can go ahead and go as close as I want to. But I kind of want one of those where you can just put it on the, like, the table. And it has like its own little built-in lights or whatever. And then you could just use it like, I don't have to keep grabbing it. But I don't know, this will do for now. So for today's look, again, I'll be using my James Charles palette. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I go to this palette every time I want to do a colorful look because they're all very, very, very pigmented. I do have other Morphe palettes that have these same colors, but they're not as pigmented. And so I don't really touch those anymore. I don't really touch much of my palettes anymore. They're kind of just there for decoration at this point. That's okay. I still haven't cleaned it. I'm going to clean my palettes this week for sure. But I'm just going to go in right now to start off with this. I'm going to use this color, this one, and this one right here. I'm going to use these three colors today. So with my M... Ow! I just took off half of my foundation. 
With my N433 brush from Morphe, I'm going to go ahead and dip into this color right here. I'm going to go ahead and work outer part. <laughs> Last night when I was doing this and I was cleaning myself after I finished, I couldn't get most of the green off. Like the green stained my eye. And I even did coconut oil. Like I used everything you could possibly think of and it just wasn't coming. And then when I finally got it, I kind of just put coconut oil and I let it sit there for a little bit. And so then after that, what I did, okay, after I let it soak, I just kind of like with a makeup wipe, I just took it off and it worked. But yeah, I don't really have issues like that where my eyes get stained. My eyes definitely do get stained with purples and pinks. That's a given fact. I remember in February when I was doing a lot of like pink looks for, you know, Valentine's Day, my eye was so stained. Same brush. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. I've seen people that work with like one eye at a time. Like they do everything on this eye and then they go ahead and do everything on this eye. I don't know. I think I just kind of like doing both at the same time because I feel like, let's say I notice something on my right eye, I can go ahead and make sure I fix it on my left eye right away. Like, for example, with this base color. Now, if I wait till the end, once I'm done with everything, and then I go on to this one, I'm like, wait, what did I do on that one? Or whatever. I don't know. It's just weird. Last night, I was so happy because I was checking, like, obviously, my channel details and i noticed that i gained three new subscribers and i know it seems like it's a little bit and it obviously is a little bit it's just three but i was stuck on 35 subscribers for a solid month and a half so just the fact that i got three more between now and last week when i posted the other video it's kind of like yay like it's just only i only have 38 now but it's, it's a little progress i don't know I'm the type of person I look at the little things more than I look at the big picture. I look at my little little achievements rather than the things I haven't achieved. I don't know. So now with my other M433 brush from Morphe, I'm going to go in with that darker green that is right next to the one I just finished using. Ow, why is this palette so big? So I'm going to go in right here with this one. Um, and yes, I'm just using the same brush. Well... It's a different, okay, I have two of the same brushes pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm just going to go in right underneath where I just place all that lighter green. I kind of just want to do it right here so that it darkens it up a little bit. I love greens. I feel like green complements my skin tone. But it's not the type of color that I would walk out with. Ooh, that reminds me one time in December, last December, obviously, I did my makeup. I had recorded and I did my, so I obviously did my makeup and I had to work that same day. But I was so in love with the look that I did that I didn't take it off and I went to work with it. The amount of compliments I got that day, mm, mm -mm. I don't know if I would do it again this year, but because, you know, now I have to wear the mask so I can't do my full face. But I don't know. Normally for work, I just kind of do my eyebrows, a little bit of eyeshadow, and then I throw on some lashes. That's literally my work makeup. And that's sometimes. That's when I like wake up in the mood to do my makeup for work. My skin is finally getting better. And that makes me so, 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 so happy. Like, I obviously still have a couple pimples there that are just chilling. But for the majority of it, they're gone or I'm just not getting as many that come out. So I'm pretty happy about that. I still don't know what caused my face to break out the way it did. I think it's a, it was a mixture of me going away to Tampa for my work trip and not drinking enough water. Because I know, I know for a fact before I left to Tampa, I was drinking a gallon a day. And obviously when I left, I'm always like working and stuff. And I don't just have the opportunity to like go and drink some water or at least not as much water and 
And so I feel like that's really what affected me the most. Because then I came back and I tried to get back into that same system of just drinking water and drinking water. And I couldn't bring myself to it because I got out of the habit. So I started, it's been a, a week now, I would say, since I've been drinking again a gallon of water. And so I feel like that has been very helpful. And then obviously the fact that we're wearing masks all the time. I on it, honestly... Honestly, I just feel like my whole trip to Tampa just messed my skin up in general because I wasn't washing my face as often. I wasn't taking care of it. I was wearing my mask 17 hours a day for 13 days. Well, 12, 13 days. I can't remember how many days I was in. But like for a long amount of time without like really taking it off to like breathe. And then obviously just the fact that I wasn't drinking water. So I feel like that's what made it like bad. But then I came back and it got worse. So, I don't know. My skin was just being weird. It normally doesn't break out like that. I'm just going back with my other M433. I'm just going to go dip into that lighter green again. The, my, my base color. And I'm just going to go ahead and touch it lightly onto the top of the darker green. Because I just want to make sure I don't lose that light green that I just had in there. I suck at describing colors. The way I describe them is light or dark. This is actually looking better than it did last night. Last night it was pretty funny because I was practicing and I didn't have my contacts in. So I was, where you guys see me right now, that's where my mirror was. So when I was like doing everything, it was looking a bit funky because nothing was looking straight, nothing was looking even. By the time I like got to this final product, my eyebrows were nearly gone because I had of so much like rubbing it off and starting over situations. I don't know. It was looking interesting though. All right, so going back with that CW01 in shade Porcelain from the HD um, Studio Photogenic Concealer. It's really the fact that I memorized the name of the concealer. That's how you know this is my go-to concealer. I'm just going to go ahead and place a little bit right here on my hand because I'm just going to go ahead and use this to cut my crease. And then with my M250 Morphe brush, which is a very, very, very thin brush, I'm just going to go ahead and dip in there and start creating a little cut crease. The reason why I want to do this is because I'm going to place some purple onto my eyelid. But I tried doing it without concealer and it just didn't work. There we go. That's how it's good. So you see it was just a little cut crease. I emphasize a little because as I mentioned previously, every time I do a cut crease, it tends to grow and grow as I make it. I was at Ulta yesterday and to pick up some more things for the giveaway. And I noticed like a bunch of new makeup that they have. And because every time I get it, like I have my Ulta, my Ulta emos muted. Because every time I would see an Ulta email and I would open it, I would see like all their new items and I would want to buy them all. So I figured, hmm, I won't want to buy things if I don't get the notifications of it. So. My emails are muted and I only really open them if I'm going to Ulta and I need like a coupon or something. But yeah, but then yesterday, they have like a whole Black Widow collection. I really, really want them. For anyone that, that's my friend and is watching this video, they have a Black Widow collection and my birthday's December 19th, in case anyone wants to know. You know, just throwing hints out there. So I'm going with this BH Cosmetic brush number six. This one is from the Midnight Festival collection, I believe. I have the full set, but this one's very good because it's very flat. So flat like that. So I'm just gonna clean this. I did this brown, purple, purple. This is purple, not brown in this purple right here and that's what's going to be placed into that little cut crease that i created then just place it <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the hulk i rode that roller coaster once I'm not a big fan of roller coasters anymore i used to be but then i grew up and stopped liking them oh i don't think i stopped liking them i think i just started growing a fear towards them because i started watching too many movies 
But yeah, I used to be like a huge fan of like roller coasters, of the drop towers. I loved all that stuff. Whenever I went to like carnivals or just fairs here in like the little ones or whenever I went to like Busch Gardens and Universal Studio. Oh my god. It's fine. I'll fix that. Whenever I would like go to those places, I would go on every ride. Literally, I was on every single ride, and then all of a sudden, I just stopped. Like, I just, while I was in Tampa, I also went to Bush Gardens, and it wasn't it. It just was not it. I didn't, I didn't want to ride the roller coasters. I didn't want to feel all that, like, pressure. I just, I couldn't. So now with the M456, brush from morphe i'm just gonna go into that same purple so that i can start hitting on the rougher like edges and start blending it out towards the green as much as i can i'm kind of liking this whole thing where i do my like my face makeup and then do my eyeshadow on camera at least if i were just doing it to like be here at home or going out i think i would stick to my eyeshadow first but i kind of like it on camera because it makes me look better <laughs> Like, I don't look rough for half of the video. I'm going to go back in with that M433 brush. And I'm going to dip into that dark green again. And then I'm just going to go pretty much what I just did. But now with the green instead. Because now I just want to make sure that that green didn't disappear again. So this is obviously like a very vibrant look. There's a lot going on. I'm just going to go ahead for it. For the purple not to completely overcome the green kind of just give it that blended effect that it's becoming like purple and then going to green type of situation i don't know i even have to trust the process like some of my looks be looking very wild when i first started practicing them but then as i was telling my sister last night i'm like what happens is i reflect on it throughout the night in the morning as i'm eating breakfast or whatever i reflect on it how I can make it better and I always think like this is just me practicing this is just me getting the base idea of it this is obviously not the final result and I always think about the final result just being 10 times better than what I practiced and nine times out of ten that's what happened obviously Sam, since we went in with that darker green now we have to go in with that lighter green to roughen up those edges I mean to soften up those edges so I'm just gonna go back in with that M M433 brush into that light green i'm just gonna hit the edges again this look is just all about building color and keeping the colors because when you start messing with too many colors at one time you run the risk of a color over a one color overpowering the rest of them but i didn't want that for this one i wanted to make sure that all three colors were very very pigmented and you can see how they begin to transition into each other so i think i did a good job on that Definitely last night I was struggling with that part, but today I have my contacts in, so fix that. I'm just debating if I want to put my lashes first or if I want to do the other part of the look or what is the plan right now. I'm really just looking and trying to figure out what I want to do. You know what, let me throw out the lashes and then we're going to go ahead and get into the drawing portion of it. I have this. I have this lash holder which I freaking love because I'm obviously it doesn't fit on my lashes this is not even like this is like I would say 10% of the lashes that I own I have way too many lashes but I figured I would put my go-to's right here and then just place it right there on my shelf and then that way I could just literally slide out and pick which one I want to get and I don't have to do any more digging through so obviously you guys already know my friend Jenny has her lashes, so I have four of my favorite lashes from her right here. You guys know easy eyelashes because I'm always talking about them. They're also right here. They have two rows because I have way too many favorites. And then I also have lovely lashes right here, which is another one of my favorite um small business lash business. So yep, I'm trying to flip it. So I hope I don't fall. I hope it doesn't fall. I hope it doesn't fall. So yeah, I just kind of put them all right there and I have them nicely organized. And then you see, they're all right there. So, yep, I'm kind of, I'm kind of really in love with this. And it's just easier for me to know like which one I want to use. 
So I made my pick for today. Today I'm going to be using the Mitchy Lashes from Easy Eyelashes. So you guys already know my code is going to pop up down here. So you guys can go ahead and use it at checkout for money off on your purchase. So my lashes are on and I actually believe this is the first time I used this style because I had to like cut them and everything to make them fit my eyes. So this was definitely the first time I used these and I am so obsessed with them. I feel like it fits the look completely. They're kind of not really on the natural side. They're a little bit more dramatic. They're kind of like a natural dramatic if that makes any sense. But it definitely like makes the eye look pop out even more. Right. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Cosmetics um, eyeliner, liquid liner in matte black. And I'm going to pretty much do the Frankenstein stitches. I'm going to do some that are going to go right here into my eyeshadow. And then I'm probably going to do a, little, a couple of them around my face. Maybe not too many. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I swear everything looks so great right now. If I mess something up. There is no way back. That sounded very dramatic, but it's very, very true. There is literally no way back because I'm not doing what I did last week. You know, I might have just jinxed myself because last week I was talking about how I can't mess up because it, I can't fix it. And then what did I do? What was the first thing I did on the first eye? I went ahead and I messed up. My hand's shaking. You can't have shaky hands when you're doing this stuff. I did one line and I'm already stressed. I have my contacts in and I feel like I still can't see. How? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I think that looks kind of cute. It's like... Very simple, but cute. I tried to add it onto my eyebrow and adding a little um, stitch on my actual eyebrow. It didn't really work much on my eyebrow, but I think I still got like the gist of it. All right, so there we go. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I get the gist of what I try to do. They look pretty even, surprisingly. On my eyebrow, all I really did was I added as much black as I could to make the line actually con like continue. And then I added like a little stitch going outwards on both sides. I didn't want to add too much because I'm like, I'm probably going to mess it up. So, so I made it very, very simple. I just added like two stitches. I added one right here and then I added one over here. I just figured why not when I take the picture of the look, it's going to easily be noticeable right here. So I think I like this. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I actually ordered some face paint and it should be here on Saturday, hopefully. I ordered some face paint because there's some looks I want to do, but I need like something more, some, I need something else besides eyeshadow and just eyeliners. So I went ahead and bought some face paint and I'm excited to use that because if everything goes well, those videos are going to come out so good. Like those looks itself, I've been like practicing and practicing and practicing, but I'm missing the main thing, which is the face paint. And I'm so excited because it comes with like stencils and it comes with brushes. I'm just like, okay, okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. So with the LA Girl Ultimate Eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and underline my waterline. This is in a peach. This is peach. So I normally always underline it with black, but that obviously makes my eyes look smaller. So I'm going to go with a lighter color because I want my eyes to look bigger for this look. My eyes already look small right now. So... So I just looked and my contact has eyeliner. It has eyeshadow, which I don't even know how eyeshadow caught on my contact. So after this video, I'm going to take it out real quick. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my under eye. It's going to be a little bit more dramatic than it normally looks because I'm going to add a purple and I'm also going to add a green to it. So first I'm going to go in with that purple. I'm going to go in very lightly, as light as I possibly can. 
and get as close as I can to my waterline because I obviously don't want it to be too super crazy. But I just want to get the purple on there. Purple, purple, purple. I'm so ready for December. Like, the looks, because you start playing with like the light blues, you start playing with reds, this type of green, like. And then last year I did like a look that had to do with like Christmas lights on my face. It came out so good. I want to recreate that already. With the M506, I'm going to go in with that dark green. And I'm just going to go right underneath that purple. And trying to make it as blendable as possible. So there we go. Like I said, this is a little bit more than I typically would put under my eye. But this is a creative look. So I always allow myself to go a little bit more overboard with my creative look. I don't know. I think it kind of looks nice because it reflects what's going on on the top, obviously. Which is always the goal. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this lip gloss because I'm going to put lipstick. I don't really put lipstick on for looks because my choice in lipsticks is not like a variety let me just say it like that like i was organizing my stuff on sunday and when i was fixing like my lip stuff i was looking and i'm like this is literally the same color just either different brands or just like a lighter and a darker shade of it so i only really have like browns like nudes for my lips but i found one that could probably look good with this one. Well, I tried it last night and it looked good, so. Go ahead with my lip pencil from NYX Cosmetic. This is in the shade Brown, literally Brown, that's the name of it. And I go, I use this one for literally everything. The lipstick I'll be using is from Anastasia and it's in the shade Dread. So it's just like that. I feel like after the lipstick and just adding that eyeshadow to my bottom lash line, it just made this look look a tad bit spooky and I kind of like it. Like, Alright, so you guys already know what time of day it is. It's time for me to put my continuous mist from Morphe. Oh my god, I'm almost out. I'll do that every time because the smell is just so good. All right, and then with my Juvia's Palace highlighter, I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna highlight my face, I'm gonna highlight my inner corners, and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I am in love with it. I love how everything turned out. It seemed like it would be such an easy like look. I mean, it is easy compared to other ones i've made but it's like it started off looking like one thing and then by the end it looks something completely different i feel like the lips and just this under eyeshadow right here just really really like set off the whole point of the look and i really really like it i like how it goes from green to purple and yep the little stitches on the sides i enjoyed that and obviously, if you guys are still here at the end of the video, you guys already know what time it is. It's time for me to discuss the giveaway. So let me go ahead and get that settled. I'm the type of person that I don't really like to drink water out of water bottles. I like to drink it out of my water cup. So. So before I show you guys what the items are, I just figured I would discuss slightly what the rules will be. Obviously, this is going to be on my Instagram as well, but I figured, like I already said in the previous video, that as soon as I had the giveaway ready, I was going to go ahead and announce it here as well. So it's very simple. This giveaway starts October 18th, which is going to be the Sunday that you guys see this video, and it's going to end a week after. So on October 25th at 12 p.m. is when the giveaway officially closes its doors, and that's when I start getting everything prepared to obviously announce the winner. 
So the rules are very, very simple. You must be following my Instagram account, my makeup Instagram account, which is gonna be right here. You must be following that. You must tag four people in that post and then you must share that post on your story for at least 24 hours. So when it comes to sharing the post, you wanna make sure you tag me because obviously I, I'm not gonna see every single person that like shares me on their story unless they really tag me. So make sure you tag me in there so I can be able to see it. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead <clears throat> You're also going to go ahead and like my most recent three posts on my Instagram. My recent three posts are probably just going to be YouTube related, but it's just a nice way to get everything connected. So you're going to go ahead and like those three posts and then you're going to comment a um, you're going to comment a yellow heart onto the yellow heart emoji onto the comment section in order for me to know when you're ready for me to go ahead and check out and see if you actually did it or not. And so that's obviously the easy rules. Now there's an extra entry for that. So the extra entry is subscribing to my YouTube channel publicly. When it comes to subscriptions on YouTube, I know I have 38 subscribers as of right now, but I can only see about 15 of them because the rest of them are private subscribers, which is totally fine if you want to keep yours private. But for the extra entry, I want to be able to see it publicly. And if not, you could just send me a screenshot of it to my Instagram and then I would go ahead and count it as such. And then you would comment any um you would comment any emojis on my most recent on my most recent video, which will obviously in this case would be this one, um, the Frankenstein look. So you would comment any emojis on my most recent video. And that's pretty much it for an extra entry. So if you already completed all of the Instagram rules and you want to go ahead and give yourself another shot, you would just, now you would just go onto my YouTube. You would obviously um, subscribe to me publicly or just send me a screenshot of you already being subscribed to me. And then you would comment any emojis on my most recent video which is today's video and then you would be set so you would have two entries onto the giveaway which is obviously two is always better than one so why not just go for it my second entry it's very very simple and yep the winners will be announced on my instagram live on october 25th at 2 p.m so at so two hours after the doors close i'll actually be announcing on my instagram live if you're not on my instagram live it's totally fine I'll still make a post about it and I probably will still announce it. I almost dropped something. And I probably will still announce it here on my YouTube channel. But yes, that will be announced at 2 p.m. So now that we have the rules settled, let's go ahead and talk about the items that I'm going to be giving out. So for this giveaway, since it's my first one, I figured I would go ahead and go a little bit all out for it. I grabbed a lot of things that would be perfect for a full face, pretty much. There's a little bit of everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give away two of the Freeman um, facial mask. So we have a little skincare right here. I'm also going to give away this four piece, ah, four piece brush set for eyeshadow. Um, along with that, it's going to be a three piece beauty blender set and then a dry makeup brush cleaner, a nice little bronzer. And then I have more stuff in the other bag. So you guys already know I'm obsessed with lashes. So obviously for a giveaway, I had to give away some lashes and some glue to go along with it. This is one of my favorite glues. I actually believe it's the one that I use as of right now. I don't know. I have. I think I have all of them from Duo. But so, so there's gonna be there's gonna be a glue, and then there's gonna be this three um three set lash set. Whatever you guys get what I'm trying to say. It's gonna be this as well. We are also gonna have a little color pop palette. This is the nude one. I figured it would go perfect with right now that it's fall. It's a lot of fall colors, a lot of nudes. And obviously I'm not exactly sure, you know, maybe you might be into the nudes and the next person is, I don't know. So I figured I'd just go ahead and do a nude color. I also have a um a lip gloss. This is a lip plumping. I have this one in the clear one and it's amazing i really love it it's also from color pop here i just have a little bit of color i can't remember what color oh this is called the roundabout it kind of has like a little pink tone to it so pretty pretty but i also have a blush and a highlight from color pop these are very neutral colors because i didn't want to do anything too crazy because i obviously don't know everyone's like gustos or whatever and then i have a little lip scrub from tree hut um this is a brown sugar I don't have any from this brand, but lip scrubs are so good for your lips, obviously. So those are the things I'm going to go ahead and give out. Like I said, the rules are very, very simple in order to get all of these things. 
why not go ahead and give it a shot um it's all going to come in a very pretty it's going to come in a pretty box with obviously the paper and it's gonna have some candy in there i don't know i'm that type of person i like to be a little bit dramatic with my stuff so it's all going to come very like nicely secured and yep i hope you all join it um this is obviously just a way of me being thankful to you guys for all the love and support that you guys have given me throughout these two years of me being on instagram and th just throughout these couple of months here on youtube like i said i only have 38 subscribers but i'm thankful for everyone that has subscribed to me because you know at the end of the day it's a small number but it's the fact that i have the support you know what i mean so yeah that's it for that giveaway um obviously after this one i will have more planned out probably like until december maybe my next one i don't know it really just depends how i am on the money right now so back to like the point of this video this was the look i really hope you guys all enjoyed it i definitely had a lot of fun doing this one it's definitely something out of my comfort zone when it comes to the lips but i like it so that's it for today's video i hope you guys all enjoyed today's look and are willing to join that giveaway that is now finally announced after so many months of working on it and like actually now i finally got all the stuff that i needed for it so i really hope you guys all go ahead and join that right now and yes i hope you guys all continue to have a wonderful day don't forget to like comment and subscribe and then obviously in the description box you're going to find all my social medias to go ahead and follow me obviously right now it's very important for you to follow my instagram since now you have the possibility of getting all of these items that i just finished showing you guys so like i said go ahead and have a wonderful day and that's it for today mm -hmm.